right, it's 12.30. What is going on? And welcome to episode six of Home With Me and Me. James and Caitlin, how are you guys? Can't believe this is week number two already. Week number two, episode six. So wow. cool, so cool. We got so many people from all over the world jumping in. So Love excited. it. Brazil, New Jersey, Mexico, just three right there. Savannah. Oh, Savannah King, you're saying hi. It's not where you're from. Maybe you're from Savannah, Georgia. I don't know. How right, are you? guys. Well, we have a very special guest that's going to pop on with us in a minute. And we will let her introduce herself. Yeah. 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 You want to find and uh, see if she's jumped on? Let's give it a minute. You know what? Let's yeah. just give it to 1231. Give it a second. Maybe 1232. I start getting like a little, um, I don't know if any of you guys ever drink a Red Bull or a coffee and like you immediately get a little sweaty. <laughs> That's where I'm at. I get a little sweaty. It happens. Also, this is home with us. We're going to be real honest. Talk home. about our pit stains or lack thereof today, but last time she We're definitely always had always honest. Them. Honesty yeah. is key, guys, in anything. For better or worse. Better or worse. Mm -hmm. From India, what's going on in New York? I love it. Global. Everywhere. Everybody. Yeah. 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 See, close. She was close <laughs> to the note. Every once in a while, Caitlin gets a note correct, and I'm ecstatic you about it. You know what? Well, it's a compliment. You love me if I get no notes right. I do, I do, that doesn't change it. I'm just saying when you get one right, even better. Alrighty, it is 12.30, Juan. Juan. Um, you are single. Nope. No. Um, but uh, interesting comment. There she is, guys, all right. All right, we have Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca. <laughs> Stays on like this. I'm just gonna smile. Smile while it's next. <laughs> I like this one was asked if you're single, even though you're sitting with Right? <laughs> it was actually a comment. It was more like, I'm telling you you're single, and then I'm telling you I'm not. You yeah, know what? Somebody was like, uh, so friends or more? And we were like, well, home with James and Kate. She's sleeping here. <laughs> Anyways, how are you? <laughs> I'm hi. good. Um, hi. Long time no see IRL. Long time. Um, I'm good. I've been a little bit sick, but my doctor's not worried, so neither am I. Good. It is. It's still flu season yeah. and sick season, and right? So colds and stuffy yeah. noses, and she's in. You're in Canada, so colder. Yeah, I, I'm in Canada. It's getting warm, but also like I'm in Canada, and we have some of the best healthcare and free healthcare in the world. So I'm like, good. Well, I'm glad really that they're not healthcare. worried because I can't be worried about my favorite agent. No, hi. Hi. Do you want to go no, ahead I'm and good. introduce yourself and tell everybody who you are? Yeah, sure. So my name is Rebecca. Um, I'm Canadian and I run a model mother agency. Caitlin is one of my girls, one of my kids. Um, <laughs> and I also still model full time. Um, yes. I also have a husband that a lot of people know. <laughs> Yes, who is he? His name's Jay Baruchel. He's an actor. He might be the voice of someone's favorite um, dragon rider, but uh, I don't know. Oh, he's great. He's so funny. I grew up he watching his him. movies, I gotta say. Big fan. Really? Tell him I say hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will. I think he's napping right now. He has this, like, his, <laughs> he, his, like, his, like, 3.30 self-care routine is, like, to take a nap, and, like... We get that. We totally get yeah. that. It's, we, it's, we yeah, I think it's good, and, like, he he acts, but he mostly writes and directs now. So that's what I was telling him. Is that yeah, he's still sober. He's, he's he's still acting like he's working on a script for a movie that I can't really say anything about because they're they have funding and everything, but it's not like public. Um, so he just finished writing that script. So every day he's had this. I will write all morning and then I'll take a nap sort of routine. Um, Love that. But yeah. yeah. Well, awesome. I'm glad both of you guys are doing good, but we're going to hop right into it and start asking our yeah. questions. Okay, so, ask away. We know our show is called Home, so the first one is, how are you guys staying healthy, both of you? Uh, well, I am already like a really health-conscious person. I mean, with your and my career, our bodies, and yours too, James, like our bodies are a huge part of our career, even not just like looking good but we have a long physically demanding day sometimes and like even if you have a six pack that doesn't mean you're healthy no. and it doesn't mean that you can do an overnight shoot or fly um and take a red eye and then wake up and shoot for 10 hours like you have to be strong and healthy it's so, a different level sure 
it's a totally different level. So um, when I met Jay, he wasn't necessarily like the healthiest human I've ever met. Um, but during quarantine, we have made a conscious effort to be even healthier together. He's now joining me for exercise hour. Ooh. So great, so important. His exercise is like a prison workout, and mine's more of a routine. <laughs> that's, that's us. I got my CrossFit weights just right in front of the house, throwing them around, getting anything I can in prison style. And I'm on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he's like, he's, he's building up past, like he's doing X amount of sit-ups and push-ups every day. And I think he's like, he's like, I'll get to 200 by this day. And I'm like, okay, you do whatever you need. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, mine's more of like a Pilates yoga driven uh, hey. workout. And he's At now- At least you guys are both doing training. it. Yeah, Sorry. it's always, I feel like for us, like if we don't get our workouts in, like, you know, together or separate at the same time, we either, we have this like, almost like we, we have this energy we need to get out. It makes us feel better afterwards. Yeah, almost like a murderous tension. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Where it's just good, it's just that's good for everybody. Called living together, guys. Like, wait till you're married. I don't know if that's a thing for you guys, but wait till you're married and then you're like, boy, didn't you just do the dishes like I asked? We've <laughs> actually been so good. Like, yeah. we're really like rotating dishes and cleaning, which actually wasn't that way before. So, well, and dog duties, because we're fostering right. this pit bull, it's forced us know, to be so, so organized. Um, I know. Not gonna I, lie, the first, the first week was a little difficult because we you're were scared exhausted. you know what's going on. But since we've implemented these very rigid, structured uh, tasks for ourselves from working out to dishes and dogs, like it's actually made this a lot better. It is. Oh, oh, that's so important. Like coming from our house, which is a house of four rescue animals. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you guys have dogs and cats. And <laughs> We can't help ourselves. I literally, at the beginning of quarantine, I was like, mm, I might just have to get another cat. And I was like, no. <laughs> I tried to talk him into getting cats, and he was like, no, happen. we'll get a dog. Yeah, no, I like my You know what? It cost me a lot of money. I, I feel that, like, I have, I have two pieces of, most of the furniture that I love, like, are chairs. Like, I'm sitting on a Wassily chair right now, and I'm like, this is heaven, but it, my cat's claws can't affect the leather of this because it's tightly pulled but like I have a, an heirloom chair and I have like an Eames chair and, and I'm like it, if you know. attach them okay. I will murder you murder you, know, you. I, just, <laughs> I like I like animals Water. that just love you constantly and that's dogs right they're always yes. they're always cats are just little assholes depends on the something. cat it cats really, are like, so great they're fun it, it depends on the cat like it does well, it, like one of our cats, we got her. She, this is our newest kitten. She's a year now. Her name's Bat. We got her when she was like two months old, which is way too young to get a cat. You're supposed to wait. Right. Um, because they're, but she was a rescue, so it was like, supposed to wait until to they become a dog. Her. Go on. Yeah, we <laughs> wait until they become a dog. But because she's grown up with our two dogs. She, she acts, acts like a dog, like a right? puppy. And like, okay. that, I agree with that. jump right in here. I love people, I love people that say, oh, my cat's, you know, uh, acts, acts like a dog. And go, oh, really? Okay, does your cat come when you call? And they go, yes. Go, she, does your cat she does. play with you? And they go, yes. And I'm like, oh, so your cat acts like a dog? And they go, yes. And I go, guess what else acts like a dog? Every Dogs. dog you've ever fucking met. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Okay. But I have both. Like, I'm a lover of all of them. Like, you are. My, my dogs are sitting here chewing bones right now, and my cats are somewhere. You have cute little fluffers, too. They're like little adorable oh. fluffy things, and we have a beast. We have a 70 pound I know. I beast. He's napping right now, though. <laughs> Blue, that's so cute, though. I know. I have a friend who lives in LA, actually, and he has two pit bulls. Yeah. And they're both rescues and like squishy babies, but. They're a lot of work and they're, they're a lot, lot of walking and like a lot of like, like you could throw the ball for an hour and they would still be ready to. to He's yeah, literally so much energy. his dick as we speak loudly right here in front you know, of me. He tends to do that. I respect it. I get it. He does it all He's the time. Bored. He's bored. He doesn't have a, he doesn't have a you. Okay. Right? So, so, let's move on. Let's how move are on. you guys staying optimistic? <laughs> optimistic, I think like for us, we're both kind of like, I, I call it like woo-woo people. So we're into, <laughs> we're into like positive affirmations. We're into meditation. We're both into like tarot cards and angel cards and Ooh. stuff, which I know is like really out there for a lot of people, but like, fuck you, it's my life. Uh, <laughs> Love that. Love that. So like, um, 
If one it makes his, you happy, uh, you should do it. Yeah, it's it's fun. Like one of his Valentine's Day gifts that I got him was um, a card reading with someone who does past life regression card readings. So Ooh. we've been doing a lot of like fun stuff like that with some people we love um, online, and that's been really fun. But also like we we both meditate, and we've been making a lot of effort to like like be conscious and be present. But also we're just we know that we're incredibly lucky people, and and like we're incredibly lucky without a quarantine and without a pandemic, but within a pandemic, we're incredibly lucky. Like he gets to work. Yeah. He gets to work from home. We own a home We're we're safe. We're healthy. We have family that lives close by that can help us and that we can help. Like we're incredibly blessed people. We all, I think that's super important is always remembering what, what we have versus what we don't. Exactly. And in a time like this, when there are so many people who are, are like could be losing their homes or exactly. you know like losing their lives losing grandparents lives my best friend lives in Milan and another one That's of my best scary. friends lives in China so yeah. it's like you know um seeing what's happening in their lives compared to ours also like we live in Canada which is like an amazing place which our government has been acting in like incredibly quickly to plank the curve but also incredibly quickly to get people money for people who need it like people who've been laid off like um there's a lot of like employment insurance there's a ton of money there's i think over a billion a hundred billion dollars being donated to to uh like giving people food who might not have food um amazing and we have like uh just over a thousand people who've passed away but we also have free health care right and like Right. testing has been incredibly easy here compared to other countries like one of my best friends lives in the uk and she was really sick and they refused to test her yeah it's tough there's such limited supplies that i can only imagine how they're figuring out who gets this testing who gets this equipment it's it's just a horrible it's a horrible situation time. to be in but um yeah it really is we can bring a little bit of optimism our optimism and little Absolutely. a few smiles throughout the day yeah yeah how and are also you guys like, moving your bodies yeah, i guess you kind of told us about oh, yeah. that but more yeah. so what do you guys eat because um, i know like you're probably pretty healthy normally or yeah i guess i am normally but i've honestly been eating worse during this <laughs> i i feel like in a time like this i don't i'm not putting that restriction on myself or yeah. that extra mental strain on myself to be like oh should I be eating this much or is this what I should be eating at this time of day? Like stuff that I would regularly think about um, and like give my mental and physical power to. I just feel like right now it's it's better to preserve that energy. Eat what makes you happy because I mean, it's, really, right now we have so, yeah. so few things that are making us happy or, you know, that are positive that it's like, if you want to eat some ice cream, eat the ice cream. Like, Yeah. Agreed. And you know what? This is a nice time to let your body rest. Yeah, yes. no, it really we're, is. we're always so go, 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 we especially are. in the careers that you guys have in the career that me and my husband have. It's like never, we're never not traveling. It's crazy that we I guess we're kind of like the same. Off. It's like you own the agency, but you still model and I model and your husband's doing the acting and directing. He's doing the acting and the singing and the, so we, we live yeah. very similar lives, but in different places. Very similar lives and like, like usually this month we would probably be in LA. Like, yeah. But this, it's just not going to happen. I'm, I'm really glad that the quarantine happened while we were already home, though. I'm glad. Yeah. yeah same. We, we talked about that. We were like, can't imagine if you know you had to, you were stuck somewhere and you had to pay so much money to even get home back to your country, back to your house. Like, just it couldn't have worked. And we were, we actually for the once were, we're actually home too. So it was nice. It was, it was very serendipitous. Like very lucky that. It, we were home and already like sort of in a chill mode and like <laughs> but it, it's it's been nice I think it's a, a reminder as well to like slow down and take care and I know that some of my friends have been having a lot of anxiety about losing their jobs right now but I'm like how many of you have been like talking to me about wanting a vacation needing a break wanting to try something new maybe needing more time with your partner this is time like, to get creative and focus on the, the things that you can cultivate and not the things yeah. that you have no control over because there's exactly. a lot of things we don't have control over i mean like we literally never have control over anything like yeah when you think about it, right true. like we can we can we can do things that make us feel in control and might help with like 
cultivating things in our life but yeah. realistically like you know truly never the world's gonna like, do what it's gonna do or whatever you believe in right like there's something that has control and it's not us <laughs> yeah. it is. I, that love, I love the mindset because that's really that's really what we can control is our perspective on this and Absolutely. your point we keep talking about trying to make this feel as much like a staycation as possible that's not undermining do. what's going on in the world but just trying to keep ourselves positive and happy and on the schedule so thank yes. you for sharing all your positivity, yes. your meditation, your positive mindset, your cheat meals. And your naps that your husband <laughs> is currently taking. Oh my God, I have this meal I have to send you guys. It's not a meal, it's a dessert, but it's healthy Twix bars. Is it the Twix? I saw it on your story okay. and I was actually gonna text I'm you listening. about it. Dude, so many people have been like, give me the recipe. And like, even my mom and my stepdad is Italian. So we're like, really like old school cooking. It's no substitutes. It like if I told so my good. Nona, I was making alternative chocolate she'd be like, why yeah. why so <laughs> my mom and my stepdad made them and they're even like these are so good we like can't stop eating them. So I'll send, send it them. over we're, we're all about that we'll i've been up baking this weekend, once sure. a week for yeah. sure well, yeah me too i'm like whipping the kitchen <laughs> tell jay that we say hi and hopefully the next i will get to la maybe we can do a dinner or something a hundred percent. I like am praying for that day to happen very soon. Yes, <laughs> us too. too. Us too. Well, thank you so much, and I will talk to you because um, you are my agency, and you, <laughs> you, you are my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, have a good day. Bye. Stay safe. Talk Bye. soon. Bye. All right. Guys. So cool. It's so cool having guests from all over the world. I love having guests, and you know, everybody does something different. All right, somebody, all right, we're going to add in a, a fan or two somebody here. Somebody said it was somebody's, somebody's birthday. birthday. Let's see if we can find it. Whose birthday is it right here, now? Here, text who's, if you said it was somebody's birthday, retext us the name. Because I don't remember do, 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 who do, I saw. So a bunch of people saying, is it Keenan's birthday? No, it was a girl, I believe. Do, 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 do. Anybody know? Anybody know whose birthday it is? We saw, saw like 10 of them during the thing. Literally so many of them. I just uh, couldn't read it. Let me try and look. Ongoing life here. Um, so hard because they reload every time. There's so many. Tegan? Tegan. That was the name for sure. Tegan. Tegan. I don't see a Tegan. I don't see a it's Tegan. Just... Right, we're going to add in another fan. And while we just do put that. You and type in search, in search Tegan. T E E? Yeah, it was T E G G, I believe. Nope. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe Tegan is not here, but happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, Bradshaw said it's your birthday. Let me see if I can add you in. Boop, 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 boop. I think we're just going to go back to random after this. Mm, no. Okay, just do a random. All right. Where request if you want to jump in. We're picking random right now. Request. Send your request. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry. Of course, now it won't work. It won't? Nope. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> we had our chance. IG limits when you can add people in, apparently. And uh, it won't work now. Damn Should it. we, do you want to redo the live? I can. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're okay. going to log out, log back in the live so that we can add in a fan or two because it seems to limit us. Right back on. Okay, so jump back on in two seconds. Silvana, waiting. Let's see if she accepts or not. Hi there. Oh Hi there, we can't really Hi, see you, but do you have any questions? You. Oh, well, that was that, quick. That was a All right. If we, if you do request to add us, uh, please, please have a yeah. question ready. Don't hang up on us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hang up on us. It's okay. We're not that offended. Uh, how about oh. trying Flora? Do it, Flora. Flora. It's a question. It's a question, Flora. Hmm? How we doing? Hmm. How's it going? Hmm. We're connecting. Hi there. Hi. How Hi. are you? I'm good. How are you? We're, We're doing good. good thanks. thanks for joining us. Do you have yeah, any, uh, any you. questions? Anything you want to ask us? Um, well, I don't really have questions. That's okay. Let's um, chat with us. <laughs> yeah. It was my birthday on the second. Well, happy, happy belated, belated birthday. <laughs> All Thank right. What you. question for you then? What do you want to do once you get out of quarantine to celebrate your birthday? Have you thought about this? Um, well, I want to get with my friends and kind of party because it was yeah. my 19th birthday. Aww. Amazing. Where are you from? Where you live? Houston. Oh, oh nice. cool. Yeah. Um, well, that would be fun. I feel like anybody who's having a birthday during quarantine deserves to go out and oh, celebrate yeah. it as soon as we can you as a belated birthday. You can just pick the second of the first month that we're out and call that your birthday. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I have um, actually all all three of my siblings. I've been like making them binge watch Big Time Rush. Oh, that's so great. Because um, they're really young. No, it's a great oh, show. It's awesome. always fun. Honestly, we had so much fun making that show. Yeah. It was like a family. And, a lot, you know, one of my favorite compliments was, of course, kids liked it. But we tried to throw in some innuendos, some, like, more adult jokes and humor. Mm -hmm. And I've had a lot of parents over the years come up and be like, hey, we really think it's funny. And, you know, yeah, hopefully you're not too I bored watching it. I watched it when I was 17. You're 17. Oh, well. that's awesome. Uh, yeah. well, thank you for jumping in with us. I'm seeing a, uh, another birthday a person. Do you mind? Sorry? Can I take a screenshot? Do you all Yeah, mind? go for it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. My pleasure. Bye. Do you want to say bye? Bye. Bye. Oh, hi. Bye. Hi, bye. Hey, buddy. <laughs> bye. All right. Bye-bye. There's so many birthdays. Add Flair. F -L -L all right, Flair. We're going to look for Flair. Is there a birthday? Do, do, do. F L. Or nope. it's tough to find somebody if you don't request us. You have to have the uh, at Flair. At Flair uh, you just got to request it, it, I think. Mm -mm -mm. Try F L A R R E. Nope, it's not popping up. Okay. No, no Flair yeah, just here. Scroll. Just scroll. All right, we're gonna pick one more fan here. Frog we clicked too many times. It's yeah, yeah. And oh, Justin, I had my boy Justin Jesso. So. You guys probably Lewis? know him and his music. He's an incredibly talented artist. Let me see if you can jump on. Hopefully you're not naked, Justin. Or if you are. James! Whatever. What's Hi. up, dude? Meet my girlfriend, Caitlin. I don't think you guys have met yet. Hi, Hi Caitlin. Nice to meet you. This is my uh, my quarantine buddy, Elvis. You're good. Elvis. Hi. We got Hi. ours over there. Our big pit bull is just sleeping. He's snoring. Should they be best friends? I think we should have them meet. He would, our pit bull would definitely eat your dog. It would take a while. We're still, we're still working on it. He's Somebody learning. Go. Well, that's okay. Elvis is, Elvis is really great with dogs that are smaller than him, but any dog bigger than him, and he is not happy. Okay. Yeah. So, so maybe they okay. shouldn't be friends yeah. for now. They shouldn't, they shouldn't be friends for now. We'll work Dude, on where, where are you, uh, where are you quarantined that right now? What are you doing? I'm in Florida. I decided to, to go to my parents in Florida. So that's what I'm that's doing awesome. right now. We yeah, yeah. people with you. I've got some yeah. people. I mean, it's, you know, two weeks already with your parents and I'm starting to go a little bit crazy. Right. <laughs> I mean, but it's, been, I fun. it's been a while with him and I'm, I was already crazy, so. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. That's so where true. are you guys? You guys are in LA? LA. Yeah, we're my home in Venice. Um, oh, nice. Dude, so. I just moved to Venice. What? What? Literally, where? I just, well, I moved to Venice like, like th four weeks ago. And I mean, don't give your specific address <laughs> yeah, on the not. live, but like- Yeah, yeah. Well, dude, yeah. we'll talk <laughs> craziness is over, brother. We'll have you over for a barbecue. For sure, I would love years, that. So we're locals. Yep. Nice. Yeah, you can show me all the hotspots if they still exist. I God, God willing, man, the local businesses, yeah. I hope that they can stay afloat. We've we been trying to support by going and getting uh, some curbside to go when we can. Do you guys go to Rose? We Dude, Rose is great. Yeah. Their so, breakfast burrito is clutch. Rose Cafe. We, oh, so okay. Good. So I walked so in good. the other day. The guy who's the manager was the manager of my favorite restaurant in New York when I lived in New York. And I had no, no right. idea. Really? Yeah. Oh. And I walked in and I'm like, Aaron, this is great. But you guys oh, are good? Sick. We're so good. Thank we're you. So good. We're very we're lucky good. to have a good space here. I got a studio in the house. I'm doing a lot of remote sessions. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, just trying to say, how about, dude, plug, what's your most recent yeah, you song, doing? man? Like, anybody who doesn't oh, know gosh. What am his I, music, yeah. Justin is an incredibly talented singer. What, what's the most recent one? The most recent one's a song called Bigger Than, um, but I actually haven't announced it. I have a new single coming out on the 17th called If You're Meant to Come Back. So this is actually the first time I've said oh, it. Oh, You got the exclusive right You got the exclusive. I love it, dude. Woo. Yeah, I'll thanks love, for well, the plug. Know. I'll reshare it. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Well, hopefully I'll see you when this is all over and, you know, be safe, be healthy. Thanks for staying inside. Dude, likewise. And actually, uh, this has inspired a question that I can't ask here because I can't talk about it, but I'll shoot you a text offline. Um, might be something cool okay. we can do together. Awesome, for sure. Dude, right, great, to okay. great to see Very you. Very nice to meet you. Bye, Thank guys. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> thanks, you too. Oh, I have to stop. Bye. <laughs> That's so cool. He's a buddy of mine. He's actually one of the guests that I was going to have on. Oh, so maybe we'll have him okay, one more time. All right. We're going to try one more and see if we can find any birthdays on here. There's so many people. So many requests. I love it. You guys are amazing. Keep requesting. We're going to try to, to get find to as many as we possibly can throughout this. Oh, there's no. Is this uh? Oh, OK. I saw Probably me. just look silly being like right up and. Nah. Right up in the screen. 
right up in the screen. All right, we're just gonna hit another request because this is tough to find. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> early B-Day present, I love it. All right, so we are gonna add on in Ashlyn. We are adding in, oh, Ashley Penavega. Might be a I fan was there, yeah, I wonder if she's a fan of the- Hi, Jane. Hey Hi. there, how you doing? You actually- I got Big Time Rush shirt. I love it, a Big Time Rush shirt. I heard twin. Hi, Hi twin sis. How you guys holding up? Look at Lockie right now. Oh, that's so funny, watching our movie. <laughs> she did watch it. She watched that when I was in the studio one day. How was it? What'd you think? It was, it was really good. You were, I was you a superhero. Were so Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. Oh, You're so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> I have a dog. Oh, hi, dog. Oh, hi, puppy. <laughs> Little puppers. Oh, so many. Do you guys have any questions for us? Our, our, birthday, our, our birthday pack was 17 years old right now. Oh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys. 17. So fun. You can go to a regular movie. It's true. We'll be 18. We'll be 18 next year. That's awesome. Oh my god, we're old. <laughs> <laughs> guys, what well, I hope you're staying happy and healthy. And, hey, uh, I have a question for you. What's up? Uh next year. Oh wait. We do gymnastics. We do gymnastics. That's so cool. I love gymnastics. I do a little bit of gymnastics in my CrossFit class. You're probably better. You show him. Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, that's incredible. Woo! <laughs> hey guys, thank right, you guys. so much for joining us. We appreciate you. We're going to keep going live. Nice to meet you, Jamie Bye. Nice to meet you. We love you. Bye, guys. We love you. Love Mom. you, too. Mwah. All right, guys. Well, that's about all the time we have. Thanks again for joining in for our second week, episode six. Yeah, we'll be uh -huh. on every day. We've got some other really cool guests lined up this week. So tune in, 1230 PST, Monday through Friday. And make sure you're hashtagging home with James and Caitlin so we can see everything you guys are doing during quarantine. All right, guys, stay healthy, stay happy. So much love. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.